Welcome back guys, um, <coughs> there's just been a new hotfix hot update uh, on armour, lots of other things as well but the main difference is uh, armour and it makes a huge difference. So uh, previously I was able to get this halt to uh, something stupid like um, 14 on the main belt, full belt, aft belt and superstructure and then 866 on the decks <coughs> well now the <coughs> excuse me the um, the weight increases exponentially so even from zero each um, category so four belt and aft belt main deck all of these each one of them acts independently so the total armor is irrelevant, it's each individual one. So if we look here, we're at four seven uh, sorry, five seven four nine nine. So that's just put it up by two. Where if we increase the, the aft belt, we put it up by fifty eight. So each one of these increases exponentially as you go up. So it's gone up by three this time. Three again, then five. 5, 5, 7, so the more you increase it, the more it goes up. So um, I've been doing a bit of testing. Now there is a, a pretty nasty bug in the game at the moment, which hopefully they fix, hopefully, you never know, it's impossible to say, but let's assume that they will fix it. And then we'll go off what should be happening, rather than what actually is happening. So, um, I think the best armor scheme that I've found is um, put your fore and aft belt at three quarters, or two thirds, but I'd say three quarters of your main belt. And then have your superstructure the same as your fore and aft belt. And then with your main deck, have that as close as you can to the superstructure. Um, but the key thing is, is armoring up your fore and aft deck to about two thirds of your main deck. So there's no point in putting this at nine if you can't put your fore and aft deck up to two thirds. So put it up to nine at first and then put this these up to two thirds. So if I was going to armour it originally without knowing what how much weight I've got, that's what I'd put it as. And then obviously we're overweight, so you can reduce 2, 1, 1, and then 2, 1, 1. Obviously you can do it in whatever multiples you want, so if we drop that by uh, 0.6, and you can drop these two by 0.3. It'd actually be 0.2 it was actually, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'd recommend your four and a half belt of three quarters of your main belt, superstructure the same. Um, I know it seems high on the superstructure, but it's uh, pretty vital to armour up your towers and your funnels, because if you get either your tower or your funnel knocked out, um, you're in... A seriously compromised position um, and also if you've got not much armor on them you can take significant damage to your hull because anything that hits your superstructure um, damages your hull as well so armoring up your superstructure in my opinion is the most important uh, change recently it's not actually since this hotfix in particular, it's been for a short while. But um, yeah, so don't skimp on your superstructure just because it weighs quite a bit. The, the good thing is, is the superstructure doesn't actually weigh as much in comparison to the rest of the uh, things as it used to. Um, so it used to be, so like there, that was uh, 26, a point one. Whereas the main belt, for point 0.1, was 114. 
Um, so the, the with the changes to the exponentially increasing armor, it's actually made superstructure more worth purchasing. So um, definitely don't scrimp on the superstructure. So that's what I recommend in terms of your basic armor. Now if we have a look at the turrets, if you put it up by 0.1 it goes up by 4 and then if we put it up to 14 and put it up by 0.1 it only goes up to 5. So there's no exponential increases um, on your turret armour. So you can um, lavishly spend on your turret armour as much as you want. Uh, there's no downside to over armouring your turrets. So always put your turrets uh, higher than your main belt and main deck. I actually haven't got it higher than my main deck at the moment. That's just because I've been playtesting. So I haven't actually refined the armour. But um, yeah, so I'd, I'd probably put this closer to 10 maybe. Something like that. It doesn't have to be that high, but there's no harm in, in putting it high. And then you can reduce these down. So that was 5, so you can reduce these down by 2. So that would be a better armor scheme than what I had with the uh, previously with these at 7. And then the other thing, which is one of the major problems, uh, bugs in the game at the moment, is the Citadel armor. So at the moment it, it doesn't work. Um, don't bother putting any armor into these at the moment until they actually patch it in a fix for it. Uh, I've tried putting these up to maximum um, and they've made no apparent difference in terms of armor penetrating shots. So you, you, it doesn't stop, it doesn't add onto your belt if you increase this. So it doesn't suddenly make, if I put this up to 5, it doesn't suddenly make your belt 17. So it doesn't add any armour to stop penetrating shots. And it doesn't seem to reduce the damage of a penetrating shell like it says it does in the text. Now it might do. Um, by a very, very, very tiny margin, you're like 10%, maybe 10% per belt, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, so maybe if you put this up um, to one inch and this one up to one inch, um, if it manages not to penetrate this one, then you might save 20% damage, and if it doesn't manage to penetrate this one either, then, uh, sorry, this one, um, after penetrating this one, then you might save 10% damage. But um, in my testing, I could barely tell any difference whatsoever in the amount of damage that I was receiving. So if I was going to put this up to, say, 5 inches, it's not worth the 200 tons because it's not seeming to make any difference whatsoever at the moment. Now I could be wrong, I might not have done enough playtesting to uh, to figure it out, but I tested it with a 7 inch um, light cruiser shooting at it, and when it was at 0 0.1, the light cruiser was doing uh, between 30 and uh, 90 damage I believe. I only, I only shot, you know, like landed about 5 shots, so I should probably do some more extensive testing but it seemed to be between 30 and 90 and then when I put this up to full it was uh, it was doing between 20 and 80 so it didn't seem to it only reduced the maximum and the minimum by 10 damage so uh, about 12 percent 15 percent maximum um, so yeah I, I don't recommend putting anything into these. You can put 0.1 in just in case, just to cover your bases, because it might do something. It might increase some form of 
blocking or ricochet chance. I honestly don't know. But don't don't spend much on these unless you've got the weight left over and then you could maybe put some in it as a, a fallback just in case of your bases. But um, yeah, this is what I recommend for an armor scheme. Um, 12, 9, 9. 7.5, 5, 5, and 9 on this. Uh, you can put your conning tower up to pretty much whatever you want. Um, it doesn't weigh much at all. Although, it might have changed. Yeah, so so it weighs more. No, zero point, uh, 3, 3 tons for 0 0.1. So it's hardly anything. Um, from what I can tell, your conning tower... Um, protects about 50% of your tower. Now it might be different depending on what tower you've got equipped. I honestly don't know. But during my testing, um, when I put the conning tower up to 30 and the superstructure down to zero, um, I was getting about 50% shots um, hitting the superstructure when I was pointing directly at the enemy. Um, and, I, and then when I reversed the numbers, I was getting about 50% um, shots again um, against the conning tower. So, your conning tower only protects 50% of your main tower when you're facing the enemy. Um, so that's when you're chasing them, basically. I don't know if it protects at all from the side. I don't think it does, personally. Uh, so I'd say the conning tower is not very important. It, the only time it ever comes in useful is uh, when you're chasing an enemy down. Which, obviously, if you're chasing an enemy, you, you're going to be winning anyway. So, um, to be honest, this doesn't really need to be much higher than uh, the superstructure. But because it's so cheap, you might just want to cover your bases, put it up the same as, as your main belt. But yeah, uh, conning tower, not really important, um, and your superstructure, incredibly important. So 12, 9, 9, 7.5, 5, 5, and then 9 on your superstructure, and virtually nothing on your citadel. And then over, over armour, your turrets compared to your main belt and your main deck. I usually go about 2 inches uh, more. But it's up to you. Uh, oh, uh, the last thing as well, barbets. Um, the only thing barbets do, as far as I'm aware, is when your turret gets destroyed, um, it changes the percent chance. It changes the percent chance of you uh, getting a ammo detonation or flash fire or both. I don't know. Um, flash fire in the case a fire enters the ammo chamber so um, so yeah basically if you're tu if you don't lose your turret these are uh, irrelevant you can set them to zero uh, you save obviously a lot of weight so let's put this back up to 14 we're on 59,700 so it's 500 um, 580 tons to put 14 inches of barbet armor. So if you're, yeah, if you never get your turrets destroyed, um, then there's no point in having any armor on this. But if there's a chance that you do get your turret destroyed, if you've got zero on this, it almost puts your ammo debt chance up to like 100% chance. Um, I don't know if it is 100% chance, but I tested it twice. And both times I lost my turret, um, I got an ammo debt or flash fire. So it's incredibly important if you do get your turrets knocked out. But if you're finding that you're not getting any turrets knocked out at all with, say, your battleships because you're fighting from super long range, then um, there's no point in putting any armor into this. So we just saved 580 tons. So if we have a look by putting this up, see how much 580 tons would be. It's a stupid amount.
I can't even remember how much I was at now. So, uh, so I need 296. So we've just put 6.8 inches of side turret on. And uh, 1.2 inches of top turret. And we still um, have 40 tons left over from what we saved. So it might be better off just doing that and putting this at zero. If you're fighting from supermax range. Uh, with sniper guns so that's what you should be doing with a battleship to be honest um, so this might be it's a penny pinching way it's a risky penny pinching way of doing it so I don't particularly recommend doing this um, I'd probably play it safe and uh, just put the normal standard amount on 14, 10, 14 or 12, 8, 12 um, but if you wanted to test it, then by all means give it a go and see see what your results are like. So yeah, hope this has been helpful guys. That's uh, every, all the changes with uh, the armour and the latest topics. Right, cheers for watching guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.